we are talking about automating engineering of nanomaterials. How hard is this problem? And as we continue down this thread of the positives and the worrisome, what are the things we should be excited about? And what are the things we should be terrified about? And how do we minimize the chance of the, of the uh, terrifying consequences? So in this robot, the robot does all the heavy lifting. So the robot basically is an embodied AI. I really, I really like AI in, in, in a domain-specific way. One of the, actually, I should say at this point, there was an attempt in the 60s. Uh, Joshua Ledenberg and some really important people did this that made an AI to try and guess if organic molecules in a mass spectrometer were alien or not. Yes. And they, did, they failed because they didn't have assembly theory. <laughs> <laughs> I see. And when I and I and wait, that, wait, what does assembly theory give you about alien versus human life? Well, no, it just they, it tells you about unknown, the degree of unknown. So you can fingerprint stuff. They weren't Got looking it. at um, they were trying to basically just look at the corpus of or complex organic molecules. Mm -hmm. So I when I was a bit down about assembly theory because I couldn't couldn't convince referees and couldn't convince computational um, people interested in comp computational complexity. I was really quite depressed about it, and I mean, I've been working with with Sarah Walker's team, and she, I think she, you know, I think she also invented assembly theory in some way. We can talk about it later. When I found the AI not working for the Dendril project, I suddenly realized I wasn't totally insane. Coming back to this nano robot, so what it does is basically a, like a computer, but now what it does is it squirts a liquid with gold in it in the test tube, and it adds um, some uh, reducing agents, so some electrons, to make the gold turn into a nanoparticle. Now, when gold becomes a nanoparticle, it gets a characteristic color, a plasmon. So it's a bit like if you look at the sheen on a gold wedding ring or a gold bar or something. Those, those are the ways of conducting electrons, basically, that reflect light. What we did is we randomly squirt the gold, the gold particle and the reducing agent in, and we measure the UV. We measure the color. And so what we do is we've got the robot has a mind. So it has a mind where uh, in a simulation, it randomly generates nanoparticles and the plasmon, the color that comes out, randomly imagines in its head. It then, with the other, so that's the imaginary side of the robot. In the physical side of the robot, it squirts in the chemicals and looks at the color and it uses a genetic algorithm and a map elite actually on it. And it goes around in cycles and refines um, the color to the objective. Now we use two different points. We have an exploration and an optimization. They're two different. So the exploration just says, just do random stuff and see how many different things you can get. And when you get different things, try and optimize and make the peak sharper, sharper, sharper. And what it does after a number of cycles is it physically takes a sample of the optimized nanomaterial, resets all the, the round bottom flasks, cleans them, and puts the seed, physical seed, back in. And then what this robot is able to do is, is search a space of 10 to the 23 possible reactions in just a thousand experiments in three days. Hmm. <laughs> and it makes five generations of nanoparticles, which get nicer and nicer in terms of shape and color and definition. And then at the end, it outputs a KDL code. That can then be wow, it's doing the search for programs in the physical space. Yeah. So it's, it's doing a kind of reinforcement learning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the uh, physical space. With the exploration and the optimization. And that the idea will work on any computer or yeah. any qualified hardware. So now that's it. That's Now that's a general piece of code that can yeah. replicate uh, somewhat, maybe perfectly, yeah. what it created. That's yeah. amazing. That's incredible. But the nanoparticles themselves are dumb. The robot has all the thinking. So we don't try and imply any re self-replication or try and get the, the, the particles to make themselves, although it would be cool to try.